Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Handbrake, which is a free tool on the Mac and on Windows, for um, compressing your video clips so that they take up an awful lot less space within your ePortfolios and your eBooks. Okay, so this is how we do it. So um, I've got, if I just bring up my Finder window here, um, you can see I've got a video I've just made for Year 7s and it's a screencast and it's 350 megabytes, so that's way too big uh, to include in my ePortfolio and I need to get that compressed right down. So if you go into Google and search for Handbrake, the top hit you find, uh, handbrake.fr, is what you want and you can just follow the download links to get it. Um, I've already done that, so mine is here. And this is what Handbrake looks like when you open it up. Um, and if you press the source button, you choose the source video that you want to be compressing. So in my case, it's this one. I press OK or open. And by default, it will uh, maintain the same size video as what you had originally, um, which probably, if you've done a full screen recording, is a bit overkill. So the first thing we're going to do is make it smaller because when we're playing it in our ebook, it doesn't need to be nearly as big. So if you go to picture settings and uh, it, you can see here we've got the height and width. Um, what I'm going to do is take that right down. So that's sort of nearly full HD size. So let's sort of half that and go down to sort of 720 height and it will automatically update the uh, width accordingly as long as you've got this keep aspect ratio button ticked. Um, so that will be a bit smaller. Um, you can preview it if you want to see what that looks like. So that's still a decent size for the video. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to close the preview. Okay, and if yours pops up with this toggle presets drawer, um, you will have a various different options for different settings. Just go with normal, I would. Normal will be fine. Um, and it, it does a pretty good job of compressing it based on that. So, um, We've added in our source, we need to say where we want it saving to, so by default it will go out to the um, last folder you used. If you haven't done it before, then you just need to set a folder. Um, I typically make a new folder called Compressed and put them in there because it tends to be useful to have them in a, um, all in one place. So that's fine, press save. Um, and sometimes it puts a number on the end oddly, so I'll just get rid of that. Okay, once you've got your um, your size set and you've got your location, your destination, uh, then you can just press the start button. And it will show you down here how long it's taking. So um, it will take varying amounts of time depending on how, how uh, long the video is in the first place, um, how much you want to compress it by. Um, you could, if it's still a large file when you're finished, you can reduce the quality and you can reduce the image size and uh, until you get it down to the size that is more suitable for your projects. Um, but uh, yeah, it will take a different amount of time depending on how fast your Mac is and how, um, how big your video is. So let's just give that a moment to finish. Okay, so that's just finished. Um, it comes up with a nice little message for you, press OK, and we're done. So let's see what effect it's had. Remember, the original was about 350 megabytes, and my exported video is 15 megabytes. 350 down to 15, which is quite extraordinary. Okay, and it still plays really nice, high quality video. It still looks great. It's everything I need it to be. Um, so I'm really pleased with that. Um, so what I would suggest is that you do the same with all of your clips. And ideally, for a screen recording, um, you probably want to try and get it down to no more than 10 megabytes per recording. You are limited to 30 megabytes in total with all of your audio clips, video clips, images, and everything else. So 10 megabytes is probably a pretty safe uh, amount and means you could get one or two of those in. If you keep them to no more than two minutes in length each, you should easily be able to get them down to 10 megabytes. Okay, so that's how you use Handbrake um, to encode your videos and make them smaller to include in your ebooks. Off you go.